gentlemen, I am here with Clint Green for coverage of this electrifying matchup between Dynasty and Legacy. Oh boy, I'm excited. Should be a close one. Both teams, questionable record, but I hopefully they can get a win here tonight. You know, a win would be huge for both of these programs. Legacy really trying to string that talent together to work well, and Dynasty just waiting to see the upside of that number one overall pick, Michael McMillan. It's still waiting. I, me too. I'm still waiting. <laughs> I might still be waiting in 2067, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> you know, JT, I, I, what do you think the outcome of this match is going to be? You know, I personally have Legacy in a nail biter. I don't know if Yesco's got the motor, and I don't know if McMillan's going to show out today. And quite frankly, I agree. You know, Dynasty, you know, got that week one win, but that's it. Haven't done anything. Lexi doesn't have a win, but they got a new free agent, Gio Paganis. You know, Gio Paganis, a very, very interesting prospect. We'll see how he does today as we're set to tip off. Here we have Gordon versus Bauman. And Bauman doesn't even have to try there to get it over <laughs> Gordon. <laughs> oh, good D from Yesco. As Pat to Bauman. And Clint, I want to get this out of the way early. Some of your fans may know you as Clint, but I personally know you as Clintarius, your real name. <laughs> you know, it's a truth that I didn't want anyone to know, but it's got to come out someday. And I, I can't let the Halo, Halo Ball fans down. And I got to let them know it. My very, real name is Clintarius. Very well said, Tarius. <laughs> as we see the ball stolen by Pat. And what? Yeah. Oh, boy. A great playoff rip from Pat Blanchard. An interesting choice for our number 49, however, I must say. <laughs> I would not have chosen that number. It cannot get the free throw to fall. He has to go very quick on that board. And we see Benjamin on the perimeter. Down on the tree to Yesco. Yesco. Getting feisty with Blanchard. Oh, great. Another steal from Blanchard. Love to see that type of defense. And Legacy Ooh. is out of the gates fast. The score of two to zero. As oh, McMillan can get the oop to fall. Here we see Pagana's first touch. And he th oh my <laughs> goodness! Oh, he already fell. Bowman! <laughs> oh my goodness! Really living up to the Haslam nickname there. <laughs> and you know, I I have a feeling this will be the that won't be the first fall of the game. And I just gotta say the. One and only touch we've seen from Paganis. Oh, oh, my, oh my goodness! God. They've got to get that area of the stadium quality checked. <laughs> my God. Must have been Eugene on Custodial last night. <laughs> I mean, I don't want to disrespect Eugene's work. He's a, he's a really good employee for the team. I totally agree with you. Eugene, I love you, man. Shout out to you and your family. Hope you're doing great. As Bauman with the hit! Man, people are worried if they took the under on that on that threes prop. And my son personally was spamming the under on that threes prop for Kevin Bauman. As Dynasty has yet to get anything going on offense. I mean, what kind of what is this? I mean, it's really, really disappointing out of a scar like Yesco and Gordon to have zero points in these first few minutes. And legacy, I mean, just complete domination. Seven oh. Leaving McMillan open for the Open shot. That is not a very good strategy, as we saw last week. As, like, Bowen, if another dunk. I mean, do they? Are they even playing defense out there? Are they? It looks like a Mr. Potato Head without his eyes out there. Honestly, just not even knowing where he is. Not even able to keep up with him. Can't even find the Mrs. Potato Head. Honestly. Ooh. And Blanchard just having his way with this dynasty defense right now. Uh, oh. As we see a little collision, and Pagan is playing some intense defense. Some may be drawn to the chain worn by Paganis, Ryan. What what did you tell me that that chain meant to him? You know, it's it's been this family for almost 40 years now. It, it's passed down from his great great grandfather. <laughs> and his great great grandfather was one of the inventors of the Tootsie Roll. <laughs> and Dynasty back the ball is a shot and gets it to go. They need that to get back in this game. Although McMillan has not been great in other areas of the game, his shooting has been spot on so far this season. It's what has kept Dynasty close in all their games that they've been in this season. And Clint, I got to say, close is a stretch. I think Dynasty has really been a sad franchise so far. You know, JT, they got their week one win against a, a very injury, 
injured riddled recon and since that they can't do anything as yes go get the shooter magruder yes go got absolutely rejected steal by gordon he's running bowman jumping like a pop tart oh and mcmillan cannot get it to go but ben that's a great play layup making it a 12 to 5 game i mean legacy just has not been stopped yet. They're leaving Paganis open for the shot, and Bowman! Oh, my so God, another stumble. You know, with hands like that, you would think he's flat Stanley. Paper thin. As Dynasty with the ball, trying to get something going here. McMillan could not corral that pass, otherwise that would have been a good two-on-three opportunity. Paganis with the good hands, not letting him do it, not letting Yesko do what he wants. And McMillan with the acrobatic Ooh, layup gets could the, not get it to go, but gets, the foul. You know, we've seen f no free throws fall in, like, forever. I mean, free throws are such a valuable thing. It's a free shot, and you get two points. I, I can't agree with you more as we see McMillan break another one there off the front iron. With Legacy's ball. And as Yasko comes close to the booth there, I just can't help but notice that Badonka Donk's <laughs> increasing size <laughs> since week one. I mean, he's, he's eating those apples, so I'll tell you that. Those apples, you know, they're going to the right places, man, I tell you. <laughs> Ten seconds left on the clock. Paganis with the wraparound pass. Bauman, the open three. Smash! And Gordon at the buzzer. No good. No good. As Legacy up 15 to 5, and it's only the first quarter. And I gotta say, Bauman's impressive really has shocked me so far. What a great game from him. And now to send it off to our sideline report with Kinley. Thank you, boys. Um, I'm here with Kevin. Uh, so you finished that first quarter pretty well. How are you gonna keep that momentum going? You know, my team out here is hungry today. We just wanna win, um, we wanna do it the right way and uh, we're gonna get it done today. Awesome, thank you. And we're back, ladies and gentlemen, set to set off for the second quarter of action. Legacy up 15 to five. And now we get to see why it is the Lions then as Legacy gets their first errant turnover by Benjamin. You might call it the Lions then, as the way that Ben thought he saw a lion there chucked that one way out of bounds. He just got scared all of a sudden. Bauman looking like a ballerina. He wants the shot. And We're going to keep giving it to him. They can't get it to go. It's cutting. Oh, no goaltending call. A bit shocked by that. There oh. he is. Bowman with the alley -oop slam. And he is talking his talk. He wants another one. As a dribble by Paganis gives Dynasty the ball there. You can't be having that for Legacy. It's honestly just sloppy play out of Paganis, and it's his first game, so you can see why. Still unacceptable. Truly. If I, if I were Legacy's front, uh, front coaching staff, I would have him be running laps till 4 a.m. the next evening, and maybe not even feed him dinner. As a foul by Bauman. And, and Gordon draws the contact. Bauman very upset with that call. And, and it seems as if the, the referee and the, the players are getting into a dispute here. A team may come. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> and Bauman testing his luck there with stripes. And Yesko with the hustle play. <laughs> An amazing rebound and finish. Oh, Blanchard cutting that away. Oh. oh, my goodness. One of the meaner slams I've seen so far. Could not get it to go, though. As it is Corel by Pagano. <laughs> Bowman hitting the deck for maybe the 45th time this quarter. Oh. As Paganis with the goaltend, another sloppy rookie Ro mistake. Rookie there. airs is what's having Dynasty back in this game. I can't agree with you more, Clintarion. <laughs> JT, you know, what does Dynasty have to do to win this game and get back in this game? I really think right now it's about stopping Bowman and taking high quality shots. And As feeding it to star player Sean Yesko. <laughs> Yesko, I mean, open at the three. I don't know why they're not hitting him right there. He's, it's just, he's just knocked down from three point. Right? And Gordon! Oh my goodness! 
Not tall enough to ride this ride! There's another errant pass by Yesko. <laughs> Yesko says, get that out of here! Was he playing volleyball? <laughs> oh my goodness. That's a D1 spike if I've ever seen one. <laughs> As McMillan sends Bauman to the ground again. Bauman doing somersaults like this is gymnastics. I give that one a perfect 10. <laughs> the dismount was just truly perfection. And McMillan rises up, cannot get the midair floater to go. Gone. It's just having a sloppy performance so far, honestly. Like I see, you know, they had a really good first quarter, but has not. Has not, oh. <laughs> has not uh, been able to take over. If I were Halo Picks, I would immediately create a line of Bauman times on the ground per game. And quite frankly, no matter what the line is, I am smashing the over. It seems like there's no line too big. As a streaker going on the floor. Oh my, oh my goodness, streaker! Oh my god! He does have some very nice New Balance kicks, though, I must say. <laughs> oh my god! Sorry, I got distracted there. Bauman up to Pat. He wants the lob! Can't get Swatted the by Gordon! <laughs> As a nice on the floor again. Is it just me, or has Bauman spent more time laying on the ground than up on his feet so far? Sounds like a technical to me. What are we doing, Rock? Still um, complaining. Two, two. Yeah, I cannot get the put back to go. Gordon attacking Bauman. Swatted! But Gordon collects it again. Goes up against the bigger man and is good for one. And just like that, it's a seven-point game. Oh, ah. McMillan with the mean stop! Yes, go. McMillan with the shot. Can't get it to go. That would have been huge for Dynasty. And they're running in packed. Did not get that one to go, unfortunately. Yesko, I mean, what are those lob passes? I have one thing to say to Sean Yesko. What are you doing? Oh, as a travel by Paganis. Another rookie error. You know, Paganis' errors might just be the reason why Legacy lets this lead slip away. It's a three. Damn, they, those threes, you know, I think they are good shots because if they can hit them, they're in this game. Gordon looking like a new limestone brick house, the way he'd be shooting that. Can't get it to fall as that is the end of the half. Score is 20 to 12. Legacy leads by eight. And we are back in the second half. I see if a good second quarter was a bit of a shocker. It truly was. Uh, a bit of a run there coming from them. Ooh. Some physical. Gordon got some energy in this second half, and that's what Dynasty needs. A good hustle play there by Paganis, I must say. Gordon running. The lob! McMillan catches it on the bouncy pad. Like Ooh. a bouncer from Fortnite. <laughs> He was deploying that glider while in midair. Oh my goodness. It's like he had a gold scar with that strap. Yesko corrals the board, gets Paganis jumping. Gordon, the open three. Oh, no good. Board by McMillan. Oh, come on. I mean, Dynasty has had so many opportunities. They just really are. Oh, it's a two! A great finesse lay there from Gordon. And Bowman with the Magruder, chased out by Gordon. His teammates are not with him, though. McMillan, down low. Gordon, they're leaving him wide open. Quite disrespectful. To McMillan. And, and out of bounds on Bowman. Score is uh, 20 to 15. Five point game. And we can have another classic just like that. But Pat rises above the rim, throwing down that emphatic jam. And they're, and they're leaving McMillan open for those twos, let, allowing for a claw back into the game. You know, they call McMillan the mid-range killer. And they don't do that for no reason. He really do be killing that mid-range, oh, though. Couldn't finish the lob. 
Oh, 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 my goodness. <laughs> Almost hit us there. Wow. No. Oh, my goodness. Are you okay? I, I'm okay, Clintarion. Thank you. Yeah. And Gordon with the steal. No good on the lay. Very surprising from a seasoned vet like Gordon. Speaking of seasoned, you got to look at Pat, ba Pat Blanchard's cooking. I mean, he brings that, the spice. He brings the oregano, you know. And uh, Week in and week out. He used to have a cooking show called Cooking with the Tortoise back in the day. As to Gordon. Oh, my. What is that? They need to get back in this game. Dynasty is just getting killed on their failed execution right now. Oh, oh Giannis! Slams it over Yesko! Hello! Hello! Hello, Bowman! I don't know what his favorite color is, but after that one, it might be yellow! Oh, my! Oh, my! What a sequence! As a celebration! Timeout has just been called by the ref. First of the season, you'll love to see it. And this chaotic action is what you get out of the Halo Ball League, Clint, and that's why I love it! <laughs> it is a three-point game just like that. <laughs> Bauman, slicing and dicing. Ooh, as a foul by Yesko, silencing the crowd just a tad. And if I could call you back to the Halo Ball Combine, you might remember that Kevin Bauman actually was one of the best shooters there. And they, it has somewhat transferred to the league, but I, I've been I've been wanting more from him, and he hasn't been performing. And Pat with the aggressive D. The Giannis no. playing Bozo Buckets with that shot. Oh. And Gordon, oh my goodness, Tried. sends that one right into the line. Tried to use the alley, but it could not get it done. Slowing it down here. McMillan with the shot. There's no good. Yesko fighting for it, but it's corralled by Coach Bauman. Coach Bauman, because he is the GM of the team. And the lob! Oh, could not get it to fall. Would have been a highlight real jam right there had that gone. And Dynasty is not even caring about the defensive boards, letting Paganis get in there and slam it on Yesko's dome piece. Dynasty. Look the oh. oh, Gordon almost sent it over both of them. Oh, but a two by Yesko. A great jumper. And that one just slips out of the hands of Blanchard. Sloppy play there. The score is a two-point game, 21 to 23. A one-possession game, might I add. Oh, great slap there by Paganis. And Tarion. What do, what do you make of Ben Gordon's performance so far? <laughs> it's been amazing, and he's kept them in this game after going down by 10 early in that first quarter. At the end of the day, when it all comes down to it, I believe one of the main things that will determine this game is Bauman's energy. He came out swinging in the first half, but let's just see if he can keep that up. As, like As he grabs the O-board and puts it in for a dunk there. Proving all those haters wrong. It's a two-point game. Man, Dynasty has crawled their way back into this one. You know, some haters might see Kevin Bauman uh, snug in a rug and not even call him a bug. <laughs> oh, could not get the layup. And the amount of time that Bauman has spent on the floor today, you might think he's the great sphinx. The great words to use in Hangman, by the way. <laughs> And as it looks like an injury from uh, McMillan, they're using their timeout. Smart play right there. Both teams going to get to rest for a little bit, seeing as they have no substitutes. You know, teams with no substitutes that have noticed so far this season have not used their timeouts. They need to, like, they, what they need to have is energy throughout the game. And if they can conserve their energy, but, you know, it's a better team. I could not agree with you more, Clint. And I got to ask you, how do you think the absence of Ali Strapped Romani has affected Legacy today? I mean, you've seen only one three from Bauman, and Romani brings at least three threes per game. And boy, oh boy, is Romani strapped. <laughs> they don't call him Ali Strapped Romani for nothing. Of course. Ball is in now. McMillan, the open J. Oh, could not get it to fall. That would have been huge. 
and Pat just having his way down there. But they decide to double. And Yesko, oh. having a Hall of Fame Intimidator there, oh. gets in the way of the Paganis slam. My God, that almost was the body of the century. You could have seen another celebration timeout after that one. And through the struggles and rough patches of Paganis' first game, he has had some quite great dunks. You know, he wasn't rookie for that first half, but he's been able to take over that second. And he's, made, and he's just made a free throw. Bowman sends that one into the ground like he's a drill searching for industrial levels of oil. <laughs> and now, now to send it off to our sideline report. Thank you, Jimmy. I'm here with Ben. Um, so after that amazing dunk you had, how did you see the energy shift for your team? You know, all it takes is one great play for us to get started. Our arena's dogs out arena, and we take that wherever we go. We're ready to let the dogs loose in the fourth quarter and get them. Awesome. Good luck in the fourth. And we are in the Lions' den for the fourth quarter action. It's a four-point game. And Pat right off rip sends a great dunk down the hole. It's a five-point game now. <laughs> you know, that's what four plus one equals. It is. And anyone who has passed first grade would know that. Oh, Pat just taking over this game. As Dynasty at the top of the key. Ooh, Pat is, what is this energy coming from Pat? You know, Pat's just trying to set the tone for legacy out there in the fourth quarter, and it is working. Quick, so an off, quick 2-0 two, two -oh run. And Gordon, the tough finish, no good. Corralled by Bauman. Bauman down the lane. Working on the littler body, Yesko. Sends that one approximately 47,000 feet over the rim. Bounce pass. Sends that one to cruising altitude of commercial airlines. Oh. Speaking of commercial airlines, Pat United, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Sky Blanchard. <laughs> My God. And you know who is not coming into the sky anytime soon is Kevin Bauman, but he'll get his work done on the ground. Yeah, you know, Yud Yudonis is not known for uh, going high in the air. He's really not. McMillan. His jump shot has just not been on this quarter so far. And Pat Blanchard just really dominating. As a goal 10, that is a big call. And, you know, if you got, if you had to guess, who made that rookie year? Who do you guess? I mean, yeah, he a rookie year. My mind literally immediately goes to Paganis. <laughs> and Wait, Pat, I do, must, need I say more? I mean, He's just having his way down there. Well, what, 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 where was all this in the first three quarters? I'm really wondering. It, it could be that he was distracted by uh, also league member Alisa Bat in the stands. Ooh. And Bauman <laughs> just chucks that one off of the rim. <laughs> Dynasty's running. Oh. And oh my Pat. I, I'm getting sick of saying it at this point. Uh, yeah, I, I, saying the words Pat is just making me sick. As Gordon draws contact there, trying to keep Dynasty alive. And just like that, I mean, it's a seven-point game. A ten-point game, excuse my math there. I mean, everyone knows that four plus one is five, but no one knows that the difference between 35 and 25 is actually ten. Most people think it's seven, so I've heard. Yeah, no, if you were to ask me that on any other day, I'd probably say seven. <laughs> As we see Paganis turn the ball over. Could start be the start of a run for Dynasty, but the lob is no good. And neither is the putback attempt by McMillan. He is looking angry at that one, but he's going to get another shot at it. The lob to Ben. And Dynasty's poor execution that has been their downfall so far. Don't know how that's not a travel call. I think I think he was midair. I think that was clean. Maybe. As amazing as Gordon defense. just strips it away. The Tiki Taka, the lob, swatted by Blanchard! I mean, they have gone on how many fast breaks and it's not been able to complete it. You know, Blanchard is just reminding me of Depoy candidate Galani this quarter. <laughs> Truly an MVP oh, candidate. The lob by Paganis. Almost fell in the deck again. Oh my goodness. Yes, go. The little fake. And just. Rolls it oh. out of bounds. Oh, it hits the post. It stays in. And McMillan with another air ball. 
I mean, I, it, it seems like we're getting what we expected here. Legacy just taking over. Airball. Airball by Bauman. McMillan, they're just leaving him open. And Yesko off the rim. Dynasty's offense is honestly looking terrible. Ooh, that's a nice shot by Dynasty. I mean, it's only cutting the lead to eight. This late in the game, not doing much. Oh, and high lob. Can they convert? On the... Oh, this is this is rough to see, JT. Honestly, what started as a close, exciting, gritty matchup just became an outright dominant performance by Legacy. Oh, oh my goodness! And another celebration! Bowman's back like he's a horse! <laughs> nay, nay! Get it up! Oh my goodness! Michael McMillan sending waves through love of the lion's den. Hey, we got 30 seconds. Six points. And Bowman through the lane. And he hits the It's a six-point game. Less than 30 left. Can Dynasty come back? Pop that, Ben. Pop that. It's a six-point game. McMillan for three. Oh! oh right. Only goes to two. Gordon. Hits it Tapping in. Tapping that one in seemingly for no reason. 15 seconds. They should be fouling. Oh, 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 and oh, it out of bounds oh, at the ref. Oh, my God. Was four. they seeing double there? 11, 11, 11 seconds. seconds. A four-point game. And just as I was saying, this game was getting boring. Eight, oh. Seven. Goal 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 two. A two point game. And we have a two point game. It's a two point game. It's Dynasty game. foul here. Time out. Time out. And we have a timeout on the field taken by Gordon. Oh boy, it's a two point game with the clock winding down. An 8 0 run by Dynasty. Oh boy, Clint. My God, JT. I was giving up on this game, but we are back. And with some clever foul play. We could see Dynasty gather the board of a rebound and tie this game up and potentially see our first overtime this season. Oh, boy. And, you know, it could Benjamin hitting that in for the two. If Nick Millen, if, he, if that was to go in for three, man, that could, a huge different game. Could have been one of the biggest what-if moments in the past century in sports. <laughs> Over what if Derek Rosen get hurt. And with that, we're getting ready. The timeout is coming to an end. Four seconds left in a dream for Dynasty. Legacy fighting for their first win. And Dynasty fighting for their second win. As Michael McMillan seemed to have misheard me. <laughs> as they're looking for... And they foul. As a foul on Blanchard. Four tenths of a second had expired there. Very quick and very zippy foul from McMillan. And I don't know what Legacy's like doing there. They should be giving the ball to Bowman. There is their best free throw shooter. I can't agree with you more. But if I'm Dynasty here, I'm looking to get the ball into the hands of Sean Yesko with the clock winding down. The free throw. No good. They're scrambling. And it's a jump ball with one second remaining. Gio Paganis with an incredible hustle play there, potentially yes. sealing off this game. Yesko needs to get the tip, and then we need a shot by Dynasty. If I were win. Dynasty here, I would personally go for the, the lob off of the jump. <laughs> and that is game. Wow. Final score. 35-33. This has been Jimmy Terror and Clifton Terry and Jimmy. Signing off.